America great again. What kind of a country do we want to have? I think climate change is real. I think we need to be able to have that policy debate. Washington Examiner is looking at where 2024 Republican presidential hopefuls stand on key issues and policies. In this episode, we look at how Republicans running for president view impeaching President Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Joe Biden is the most corrupt president in American history. The former president has often called for the impeachment of Biden as he faces his own legal problems. Trump often complains about the two-tier justice system on Truth Social. So they impeach me over a perfect phone call, and they don't impeach Biden for being the most corrupt president in the history of the United States. Trump slammed Republicans for not bringing impeachment charges against Biden. The radical lunatic Democrats, they impeach me, they indict me, they rig our elections. And the Republicans just don't fight the way they're good people, but they don't fight the way they're supposed to fight. And you know, their inquiry into Biden, I think that they should pursue that. He, um, the corruption is just incredible with what's happened there. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Trump's top rival in the 2024 race, will often note the weaponization of the Justice Department and the FBI, as he did after Trump was indicted for the third time. But when it comes to impeaching Biden, DeSantis is unequivocal. They impeached Trump for a phone call. Are you trying to tell me Biden's conduct isn't as significant as that? It's way more significant. So they are absolutely within their rights to do that. I think what the corruption that's surrounding this family is really unprecedented uh, in the modern history of our country. And the lack of interest uh, on this from the FBI and the Department of Justice, it shows you weaponization. There's two sides to the coin. Former South Carolina governor and U.S. ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley said McCarthy and congressional leaders were within their rights to investigate the Biden's family business interactions. Haley has also called out the double standards between Trump and Hunter Biden. I think that you've got Congress oversight for a reason, and I think that they need to go and look at the evidence. I mean, the American people have not been able to see exactly what happened. When those phone calls took place, what was said, what was given, what happened, all of those questions. You've got whistleblowers, and the whistleblowers are enough to say, we need to figure this out. Tell the truth. Biden, Garland, tell us the truth about what you actually told Jack Smith. Vivek Ramaswamy responded to Trump's latest indictment from special counsel Jack Smith by filing a lawsuit against the Department of Justice and filing a Freedom of Information Act, requesting information on communications between Biden, Attorney General Merrick Garland, and Smith regarding Trump's legal prosecutions. Is this a politicized persecution through prosecution? I certainly believe it is. But it's the government's job to be transparent about exactly who told who what to bring about these prosecutions? Because the fact they're arising at the same time is no accident. 